Today I'm back with Debbie at Bryson Farm Supply. It's not as happy of an occasion as it was the first time I was here and if you missed that video I'll link to it down below and you can go watch it and hear some of the wonderful history that Debbie shared in it and see some of the wonderful seeds her family has collected over the years. Um, but Debbie's going to have to close, not because she wanted to, but because the state, if you can hear, you can probably hear some of the car noise, we're right by the highway. The state is going to take part, they're building a new road or making that bigger, I Highway guess. 107. Highway project. 107 project is it. And it's going to take Debbie's store. So she's in the final stages of, of trying to sell what's here, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. It doesn't actually close until October 31st, so if you want to come see Debbie or you're in the area, for sure do that. But that's why I come to see her today. She's going to share more seeds with me, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, and I'll show them to you. They're so beautiful. And um, I also, though, I guess first I'll just tell you this so that you be sure to know if you, in case you have to not watch the rest of the video. On Saturday, October 21st, it's coming up pretty quick, but from 9 a.m. until till it ends, they don't know for sure how long, she's going to have an all-day auction. So I'm just going to read it to you so you'll know some of this stuff. After over 50 years of being open to serve the needs of the people in Jackson County and surrounding areas, Bryson Farm Supply will be closing its doors to their building due to road expansion in Silva in October, uh, or on October 20. October 31st, 2023. Please join us for their final sale of merchandise to the public, which will be an all-day, on-site auction, items to include very large greenhouse, new and antique store counters and tables, very old Revolvo antique store nail bin, five-tier stainless steel prep tables, feed mill, key machine, rock scales, feed scales, rolling cabinets with drawers, chain cutting machine, chain chain and fencing, scales, yard and hand tools, advertising signs, office dividers, galvanized items, feeders, hardware of all kinds, and then some objects might sell before then though, I guess right. that's what they, I'm saying. They have. They some have some of have, that. Yeah, yeah. Have sold uh, already. <laughs> but that is not all of the list because I can see other stuff. So I know yeah. there'll be more than that. And this is in Silva, North Carolina. I will put the uh, address down in the description below too because yeah, that's the wrong address okay she <laughs> printed it wrong okay. like did. well I'll put the right yeah. uh, address down in the description so if you want to come see Debbie on that day or if you want to come see her before then too it'd be great so you're usually open Monday through Friday uh -huh. 8, 8 to, to 5 30 8 to 5 30 yeah. so not on Saturdays anymore yeah not on Saturday you so know. you could come see Debbie uh, and see this wonderful piece of history uh, I know Debbie's sad and she's having to go through all the all the grief of that and the people that's works with her that's worked with her for so long but even for me even though I just met Debbie it makes me sad just because I know that it has to have been such a uh, landmark if you will a part of Silva for so many so many years decades, yeah, decades. it's been just a true piece of the of the whole town and and people traveling certainly from this area but really all over western North Carolina coming here for their farm needs and the gardening needs and you know uh, livestock needs all those things uh, and we really talked about it in the first video but uh, Debbie and I've been already talking this morning for a good long while about the knowledge when you have a family business like this from your mom and dad and, and you and your husband um, and different family members that's helped you, you just all that knowledge is just like a storehouse <laughs> You know, every day for your whole life, you've dealt with people that are raising animals, farming, mm -hmm. you know, all those things. Yep. Hardwire to building and, um, you know, whether it's on the farm or just in your house or whatever that you need to do so that you just acquire knowledge. Yeah. yeah. It's the school of hard knocks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But so if you come in and you need, I'm, I'm having trouble with this, and I don't know about this. Debbie or one of the folks that work here had that knowledge. Oh, well, let me tell you, this is what worked for us, probably worked for you. Or this worked for so-and-so, it'll probably work for you. Yeah. So it's sad for that to, for that to go away. Yeah. yeah. Very sad. Sometimes, though, things in life happen that we can't do nothing about. We have zero control over. Yeah. yeah. You can't fight the state. 
Yeah. And you'd only lose. <laughs> you'd only lose. Yeah. I promise. You'd yeah, lose. you'd only yeah. lose. Um, you'd only lose. So you just got to do what you got to do and, yeah. and go. And make it happy. And make it the best that you can make out of it. Yeah. Because yeah. it is a happy ending. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's a happy ending. Yeah. 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 There's been a lot of good, good memories. I mean, lots of good memories and wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Wonderful people. Mm -hmm. A lot of friends have been made. Yeah, and I know they feel that way. Even this morning while we've been here, there's been people coming in like, oh, how many more days, you know? Yeah. So they feel that way about, about you two, yeah. the same way you feel about them. They're sad as we are. Yeah, they're, they're hurt, yeah. for sure. Yeah, they're hurt. I'm sure if you, while you've been cleaning out, have you found stuff you'd forgot about? And we, thought about? Uh -huh. yeah. we found a lot of things we forgot about that just get pushed to the side because you had them for so long. And, a lot of memories of things that, you know, we're like, hey, this was here when I was little, you know, or we played with this, or this was this, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's been a lot of, a lot of memories, yeah. a lot of memories. I just heard a, a story about an anvil over here, so that was, as they, as they gather stuff for the auction, those kind of stories, I'm sure, are popping up. Mm -hmm. uh, telling about the history of it and where it was made, and it was your uncle. I uh, think, my great made, uncle that worked it. at what was once the Mead Corporation when I was a little girl, and he worked there as a as a, one of the supervisors and in the maintenance department. And he made that tool and all that stuff there at the company and used it there. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a lot of history too. Yeah, and that's it's nice. It's, It'd yeah. be, be good for somebody. I think Matt's Matt's with me. Matt's eyeing it already. He's <laughs> like, oh, pretty nice. Be a nice addition to to, to anybody's work, yeah. any man's workshop yeah. or woman. Yeah, some women yeah. would use it. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. would. Right. Yeah. So I figured when you were cleaning out, though, I know it's just it's like anything. If you've moved ever moved out of a house, and you're like, when you know you're leaving, you're you're remembering, you know, maybe where your kids learned how to walk or whatever it is, or. You know, I can't even, even go into Granny's house, I, I look in her bedroom, which is now her bedroom, used to be my bedroom, and I look around like, oh, I remember when I was in this room, and, you know, <laughs> had my yeah. posters on the wall, and my stereo, and all that, so it always brings out memories when you're, you're having, to, oh, having yeah. to move on to a different part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Change. We're going to get Matt over here, and we're going to look at some of these beautiful seeds seeds that Debbie's sharing with me today. Uh, thanks to Debbie, I, when me and Matt got to grow those wonderful beans. If you watch all our videos, you've seen some of those beautiful old heirlooms, and we just fell in love with them, the ones we did get to grow. And today, since now Debbie knows she's got to, got to clean everything out, she's going to share some of the ones I didn't take the first time. And, and it wasn't because she wouldn't share them. I mean, it was just that you can only take so many. You can only grow so many. But knowing now that we need to to try really hard yeah. to continue these. I'm going to try to help Debbie yeah. with that endeavor. I want this to continue on. It's very important. Yeah, it's very important that we continue these on because the seeds will be gone to the way. Yeah, and, if we don't. Yeah, yeah there will don't. be no more seeds that are able to reproduce because they've been treated with chemicals and tampered with with all kinds of things. So it's important to try to grow what you know you can continue to pass on to your family down the line because we might be facing a day we might yeah, we're, we're going to need a garden and something to yeah. eat yeah and certainly we all know no matter what happens uh, how much healthier it is if you if you're able oh, to grow yeah. your own food and such a joy too uh, Debbie's a gardener too so she yeah. knows like I do the joy of of planting and harvesting and putting it up for the winter. It's just such a rewarding joy. And just watching yeah, it. Yeah, watching it, yeah. Watching it grow and then getting to eat it and can it. And yeah, it's it's a joy. It's a joy, for sure. So this is the Cherokee pole bean. Some of these Debbie knows a little bit about. Some of them she doesn't because her husband and other people were in charge. That were here when the, the day that somebody brought them and said, hey, I want to share these seeds with you. But let's look at them and see what they look like. Ooh, they're pretty for sure. They're look so at pretty. those. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at those. Just mm. wonder what they'll be like. I know. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Beautiful. Now I've had me and Matt's grew something called the. This is on the back. 
you can dry them for oh, like can a be soup dried. Bean. Okay, like yeah. a soup bean or whatever you want to dry bean. Yeah, you can dry them. We had a um, <clears throat> turkey, something called turkey crawl, but it wasn't near this. It was bigger than this. Those are pretty too, though. Yeah, they're very pretty. Mm. They grow long and kind of slender. Long yeah. and long yeah. and slender. Mm -hmm. That and was the dark. Holstein pea. Now we did grow those this year, and we loved them. Tastes like black eyed peas. Very good. I love them. They're pretty too. Brown butter Cherokee. Let's look at these. Yeah, I think you grew those because I think I remember you showing them. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, mm -hmm. we grew those and they were so good. They are like butter. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. This was some that we grew this year for the first time. Debbie's sharing a little bit more with me because she grew these and it had a different. So this is like the ones that Matt and I grew. We were calling the paint bean because of that little place, but the set. Sally Bradley mm -hmm. is who, where these come from, but look at those. Aren't those beautiful? She brought the bean seed to my husband. Yeah, those are lovely. So mm -hmm. saved them the room. Yeah, so her Sally Bradley had brought them years ago to Debbie's husband. This was one Debbie wanted me to try, pink hull beans. So this is a, a new one she's sharing. Those are pretty too. And I'm guessing the hull gets pink. I bet it is. Yeah, 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 I bet. Uh, we've not grew those yeah, before. That was, we grew those this year. This is, uh, we grew those mm -hmm. too. They're going to uh, be short, one that'll be real shiny. This was an interesting one. We didn't grow these, but I like it because it's a bush bean. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to try it. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Pretty, pretty little, looks like a little pinto bean. Kind of looks like the Cades Cove ones, I think. Or one of the ones that we grew. Calico Crowder pea. We didn't grow any Crowder peas, so I'll be really excited about them. Let's see. Ooh, look how pretty they are. Oh, so uh, they do look like calico. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Excited about them. This was a snake bean. So I'm, I wonder if it gets big or if it's more like the rattlesnake, if it's just the name, you yeah. know, that, just the name. That makes you wonder. Yeah. Does, does it look like the rattlesnake? Yeah, to sort of. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. not all of them, but some of them. It's a little smaller. Yeah, but it is a little smaller. So that's an interesting one. Boy, I hope it's as prolific as the rattlesnake. This is a cornfield bean. Now, Granny is crazy about, that's her favorite. <laughs> favorites the cornfield and those are those are pretty like pintos those are really pretty aren't they? yeah so she doesn't granny doesn't let hers dry though like for pintos she just eats them green i mean and cans them or whatever hers didn't do any good this year but this one i'm really excited about debbie told me about and then she's going to share some with me this is actually some that was grew this year so this is open pollinated sweet corn from hawaii mm -hmm. And one of your viewers uh, yeah. brought, and I don't remember his name, yeah. his and hers, but that's who brought it to us to plant. So we did, and now we're sharing it back with you so we can all keep going with it. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wonderful. So yeah. It, um, just in case you couldn't hear Debbie since she's further away, a viewer seen the first video that we did about Bryson Farm Supply with Debbie, and they brought this to her and shared, and then her and Armando grew it this year and both loved it. So she's sharing it with me now. This is just some they had drying in the, and we were just going to show you what it looked like. So a sweet corn that's open pollinated. Yeah, very sweet and good. Mm, I can't wait for that. Me and Matt don't have a good place to grow corn, but we're going to have to find a place, Matt, for next year. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. We have to rent a field or something. I don't know. Have to do something. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all those lovely seeds. I think it's, I'm so thankful Debbie shared them with me and so thankful I met her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've become dear friends. It's a friend that we never knew we had. Yeah. And I'm very glad, thankful for that, thankful for Debbie. And I'm sorry she's having to go through this, but I know she'll be okay. I know it'll all be okay. But it is really symbolic when I think about the seeds, like Debbie was saying, it was so, it's so important we hold on to those old seeds. Um, and then me talking about the knowledge you have in here. It's important we hold on to that knowledge too. Now this store is going to be gone, but Debbie's still going to have that knowledge and her 
you know, all the people that have helped her over the years, they're still going to have it too. And I don't know how, but I know they'll still be spreading that knowledge in, in their community, in their families, in their homes. And, and I think that's really important. And I think it's really, um, really neat something to think about Debbie sharing her seeds and sharing the, the wisdom too. There's really something deep in, in that, meaningful, and I really appreciate that. Now I'm going to get teary. I know. We're, we're both, both going to get teary. Cry. I don't know if I yeah, can do this I or not. This now, is, I'm going to talk myself into crying too, so we're going to we're going to close. Uh, as always, we're really thankful when you stop by to help us celebrate Appalachia. And don't forget to come see Debbie on October 21st. And I will put all those details in the description below. And you can come see her before then, yeah. too, and after that till the 31st. Yeah.